happened again early this morning. Six million people across Quebec woke up to darkness and disbelief. For the second time in less than a year, the entire province had been hit by a power failure. People of Hydro-Quebec are not positive, but they think the blackout was caused by the sun. Most Quebecers, though, are blaming it on down-to-earth incompetence. Paul Workman reports. By the dawn's early light, Quebec was still fumbling in the dark, caught in the middle of yet another province-wide power failure. It caused a rush hour on the roads, even some minor electrical fires under the roads, and for a while left thousands of people powerless to go to work. Well, I think it's something a little bit ridiculous right now. If you want full services and full money every month, then why don't you provide us with full services on a more regular basis? Hydro-Quebec officials say they know how it happened, they're just not sure why. There was a sudden power surge in northern Quebec, just a fraction of a second. And then, like a big circuit breaker, the whole system shut down. They don't know, but they suspect it may have something to do with solar flares. Over the last week, scientists have recorded some of the largest flares this century. They send out a magnetic shower, which can interfere with transmission lines back on Earth, especially those at high latitudes. We had a very large flare last Friday. That's almost certainly the cause of the geomagnetic storm, which started within a minute of the time that Quebec Hydro went out. So the coincidence is so close in time, it's almost too much to be chance alone. Our system has been built since 1965, and this would be the first time it happens. So it would be more bad luck than bad design on that purpose. Bad luck or bad design, it's still bad news for Hydro-Quebec, which is trying to sell massive amounts of James Bay power to the United States. Blackouts don't help. Well, there is no question that this has certainly uh, affected the credibility of Hydro in terms of its uh, ability to provide uh, the proper service to its customer. The power was back on in a matter of hours, but that's little consolation to Quebecers, who will soon be paying 5% more for a service plagued with problems. On top of that, scientists say the solar flares will get a lot stronger over the next year, and that could mean even more blackouts like the one today. Paul Workman, CBC News, Montreal.